So my cheap cars that make you look rich videos, they were pretty much a hit. The comment section, not so much. Let's take a look, shall we? They are cheap because they are a nightmare to maintain. No one wants to own them. You forgot to mention the huge maintenance costs with these vehicles. You need to be rich to get them repaired and maintained. These cars are cheap until you need a repair. So in response, I'll be showing you guys five cheap or reliable cars you can get for under $5,000. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Christian. This is Vehicle Viros. Make sure to subscribe for future automotive content. Now, let's begin. The first car is the second generation Honda CRV. Ever since the launch back in 1997, the CRV has been considered one of the best bargain crossovers ever offered. It pretty much has everything you need in a mini SUV. It has a roomy interior, a towing capacity of 1,500 pounds, good gas mileage, and even a removable picnic table for those days when you feel like taking your family or friends to the park or whatever else you might use it for. You get reasonable gas mileage, 23 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon in the highway. That's on par with many compact vehicles but with more practicality and again, a picnic table. Also, the rear seats have a good amount of versatility as well. They fold down, slide backwards and forward giving even the tallest passengers adequate legroom. The Honda CRV gets good gas mileage thanks to its 4 cylinder 2.4 liter VTEC engine which pushes sufficient performance, 156 horsepower and 160 pound feet of torque. Just keep in mind you won't be doing any serious off-roading with the CRV, but if you want a vehicle that has the right balance of size, expense and fuel economy, this might be the right pick for you. On top of it being very reliable with minimal maintenance costs, you'll get a vehicle with an overall crash safety ratings of 5 stars. I was able to find this generation of the CRV for as low as $4,000 with less than 150,000 miles. And considering these vehicles can go well over 300,000 miles, that's quite the steal. Next car is the first generation Scion TC. If you were a long time fan of the Toyota Celica, you might like the Scion TC. I mean if you didn't know the TC actually stands for Toyota Celica. Well, not really. But that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Scion was designed to be the discount Toyota aimed at the youth market who just wants something cool and sporty. The Scion TC's exterior isn't revolutionary, but it does come with some cool features. Headlamps with BMW-like eyebrows, a standard panoramic moonroof, and a hatchback with plenty of space to carry fairly large items. Consider Scion is under the Toyota umbrella, you can count on superb reliability and low maintenance costs. In fact, the Scion uses the same reliable 2.4 liter 4 cylinder engine found in the Toyota Camry. That alone should speak for itself. The engine produces 161 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque and can get around 21 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon in the highway. There is one issue some first generation Scion TCs can potentially have. According to some reports, engine oil may be burned much faster than normal, causing TC owners to have to frequently monitor the oil levels and add oil in between regular routine oil services. Thankfully, Toyota took action and added an extended warranty of 10 years and 150,000 miles for those that experienced this issue. Meaning if you're looking to purchase this car, previous owners have probably already fixed the issue. You can buy yourself a signed TC for as low as $3,000. The third car on the list is a second generation Ford Crown Victoria. Also known as a Crown Vic, no other American car has ever proven as reliable and durable as this car right here. I mean there's a reason why taxi drivers and cops continue to use Crown Vicks and routinely put over 200,000 miles on them. Unlike most cars, the body is built separate from its frame, resulting in it being able to survive more collisions making it a pretty safe car. Thanks to its rugged body build and a 4.6 liter V8 engine, it can be used to tow things as well. The Crown Vic is not afraid of bumps, potholes, speed bumps, curbs, and even pedestrians. And let's not forget, at a glance many people mistaken this vehicle as a cop when seen driving on the road. Especially if you manage to buy yourself the police interceptor model. Not only do other drivers start to drive more careful when they see a Crown Vic on the road, but the left lane practically becomes all yours most of the time. You get other drivers asking themselves, is that person a cop? Is that person undercover? Is that person a few days into retirement? I vouch for this because I do this too. I know I'm not the only one. Do you ask yourself questions when you see a Crown Vic in the road? Be honest. Not only is this car reliable, but it's pretty cheap to maintain and fix. There are dozens and dozens of Crown Vics available at most junkyards. This can be very good for a first vehicle for your son or daughter thanks to it being built like a tank, cheap to maintain, and other drivers driving are much more careful when there's a Crown Vic around. I was able to find all versions of the Crown Vic for as low as $2,500 through private sellers and as low as $3,500 through dealers with less than 100,000 miles. The fourth car is a first generation Pontiac Vibe. Back when this car first launched, it was obvious that it was targeted to capture the attention of the young and the young at heart. TV ads for the Vibe featured an urban beat soundtrack and with what appeared to look like hip teenagers. At the time, the sports wagon was quite the hit. Despite the lack of media attention, Pontiac managed to beat sales projections by 45%. You get a comfortable ride and roomy back seats. In fact, the entire cabin is pretty roomy, especially when it comes to practicality. You can fold the rear seats and get this, 
You can fold the front passenger seat flat as well. With all the seats down, you get up to 54 cubic feet of space and 8 feet of length space. Then add the fact that the Vibe carries built-in tie-downs to secure anything you wouldn't want moving around. But wait, I'm not finished. The front console comes standard with a 115 volt power outlet with a wall type plug, meaning you're able to plug many electronics without having to use an adapter. As quirky as that might sound, you gotta admit the Pontiac Vibe is quite the versatile and practical vehicle. And of course we can't forget about the reliability. Even though the Vibe has an obvious GM style to it, its engineering comes from Toyota. It was built to Toyota's assembly standards with Toyota components at a joint GM Toyota assembly plant. Toyota even has its own version of the car called the Toyota Matrix. In other words, the Pontiac Vibe is very reliable with cheap parts available. Lastly, the power really isn't too impressive. It carries a 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine that produces 130 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque. There is a positive side to that though. Gas mileage, 26 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon in the highway. And for less than $4,000, you can own one yourself. Anyways, enough of the Pontiac Vibe. Moving on. The last cheap reliable car is the second generation Mazda 3. Combine good safety raisins and expressive exterior design and good fuel efficiency and you get yourself a fun and dependable car. It's so much easier for me to talk about the Mazda 3 because my wife owns one herself. She was the first owner of this vehicle back when she purchased it in 2010. The car has nearly 100,000 miles on it and listen to this, we have never had to replace any major parts on the car. Other than the routine services for fluids, brakes, tires, replacement of the battery and filters, the Mazda 3 has been a champion. Back when the generation 2 Mazda 3 released, many criticized the front end. I mean the happy front end does seem a bit much, but it tends to grow on you as time passes by. Cabin space is adequate, plenty of space to sit for, cargo space is decent, you get around 12 cubic feet of space making it perfect for grocery runs, or in our case, perfect for two full-size tires. Some might complain that the ride is a bit firm, but honestly, if you want a car with a sporty feel, the Monster 3 does just that. You also get excellent gas mileage, 25 miles per gallon in the city, and 33 miles per gallon in the highway. But honestly, after driving the car for years, it seems like it gets a lot more than just those numbers. You can get yourself one of these for around $4,500 to $5,000 with a little over 100,000 miles on it. And I'll tell you this from personal experience. It's worth every penny. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. It's the easiest way for me to communicate with you guys about updates. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for future automotive content. Oh yeah, hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.